You must have heard IT, information technology. You may have heard YT, which is YouTube, where you are watching this video. But have you ever heard of JT, Jugar technology? This is what is happening in immigration today. Hello friends, this is Sapinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today's video is very special because this video is going to tell you the truth which nobody is going to tell you. So before that, a humble request, if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update, tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. Press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. So here comes a, one of the important videos which is about a 20 lakh cheating. 20 lakhs cheating. And cheating is in visitor visa. What kind of cheating? How this cheating is being done? I'm going to share you all these details with you. So there are basically four types of cheating. Four types of cheating. The first one and the most prominent one is profile tampering. The second one is fake visa sticker. The third one is identity change. And the fourth one is transit visa. And I will also provide you bonus at the end. So keep watching till the very end. So let's go with the first one, the profile tampering. So what is profile? That's the first question you comes to your mind. How is it tampered and what is profile? So profile includes your personal details and your personal details like your name, your passport number, your date of birth, your birth certificates, your marital status, your travel history, all this is your personal details and education details. It includes your employment details. It includes your travel history. So all this information is a part of the profile. But the tampering usually not happens at passport because they are going to put your passport, of course, they are going to put the Aadhaar card, they are going to put your birth certificate. What they are going to change is if you see when you are filling up or somebody is filling up for you, the Canadian visa form, the form is called 5257. This 5257 is where in the particularly in this section where maximum cheating is done and this is education and experience. So in education, suppose you are 10th pass, you are 8th pass, they show you as master's degree holder, MSc, MCOM. So it looks that you know you are very much educated that makes a difference to visa officer. Then in employment, you may be having a shop on the corner, you may be unemployed, but they show you as a government servant, maybe a IAS officer. They can show you anything because what they are going to do, they are tampering with your profile. There is another tampering which happens is fake invitation letters. So somehow they create the letters, they get the letters from people out here in Canada. Invitation letter or sponsorship letter is also very critical and they try to, the agents, those false agents, they try to get you the invitation letter from people out here and they create the fake documents fake documents, particularly degree, your job letter, your experience, even the bank balance, everything is fake. So they tell you, see, we will get you visa guaranteed. Don't worry about it. You don't have to pay a single penny. You don't even have to pay a single penny. They guarantee you the visa because they have changed your profile 
and when they change the profile so with that changed profile you get the visa and now the problem is with that visa you can be in big trouble if you get the visa you will be in trouble if you don't get the visa you will also be in trouble if you get the visa then what will happen you can not show the real identity here if you don't get the visa whose file is got spoiled your who got the refusal you got the refusal so in either case you are in trouble now moving on to the part number 2 which is fake visa sticker with coming up of new technology good printers new softwares it's very easy to mimic to mimic but not original to mimic canadian visa sticker so what they do is they make the fake visa sticker they put the fake visa sticker on your passport and it is not issued by government of canada it's manufactured in a corner in some remote village and they look like a canadian visa but the problem is when you pay the money you take your passport you pack your luggage you go to the airport and at airport when the scanning is done they will tell you this is a fake visa so this is also another big problem fake visa sticker now moving on to the third one this one has kind of decreased a little bit in the past about 5 10 years back this was very much prevalent but now this has decreased and i'll tell you why so what happens if you get a passport and you get the canadian visa your passport is stolen or looted and then it is sold to another person who travels on your behalf but this thing has reduced because with the advent of biometrics with the coming of biometrics you can make the face similar to another person but you cannot make the fingerprint same so this thing has decreased quite a bit now but this is still existing identity change number 4 and you will be surprised is this possible yes this is also happening transit visa what is the meaning of transit visa let me tell you the meaning of transit visa first so transit visa basically allows a person to travel across canada for a short period of time <coughs> so who needs a transit visa a transit visa is required by a person who is from a visa required country so it is allows you to stop for a particular period of time and that time is just 48 hours so you are allowed to stop for 48 hours in canada and then you take another flight and move out of canada <coughs> but now the important thing here this thing because it is transit visa is much easier to get because you show that you are traveling across canada you are not residing in canada you won't be you have no intention to stay in canada so visa officer gives you the transit visa if you show the proof that you are traveling further you show the flight tickets you show the proof and visa officer gives you that visa this visa is for 48 hours it is very similar to the visitor visa the only difference is in visitor visa the code is v1 and here the code is vh1 but remember this there is a limit this visa is only for 48 hours so what agents tell when you land in canada file what yes you guessed it refugee you file the refugee case so you get down at the canada airport and file the refugee case so this is happening and if i will show you the sticker here is vh1 instead of visitor visa where v1 is mentioned here vh1 is there so that's the difference between the transit visa and the visitor visa transit visa is only for 48 hours and within that 48 hours you need to leave canada but this also is being used by 
cheaters. So last, the bonus which I promised you. So bonus is disappearing act. So what happens in a disappearing act? So you pay the money and then initially the person answers your phone but later on your phone stop answering. And then emails are also not responded. Your WhatsApp messages are not responded. You one fine day, you plan that, okay, let me go to the office of the person. You go to the office of the person and you find a big lock over there. So this is what is also called disappearing act. The person just ran away with your money. So again, if you want to discuss your own profile with us, if you want to discuss your own immigration case with us, you can schedule an appointment with us. Our office is in Brampton. Address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. And once again, very important thing. And if you have still not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Our team pays lots of attention on bringing all these details to you. So thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.